Yippee ki -yo. Guess what? Oh, oh, oh. It's that time, and no, it has not been opened at all. <laughs> I love my ipsy dipsies. All right, let's rip it open, ladies. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like my content and my personality, and we'll come back for more. Hit like and subscribe. Oh, watch this. Oh no, is it gonna be one of those people things you open and open? They were trying to make me think I got something huge. <sighs> Why, yes it is. And then I got this pretty bag. Oh, yar. That's pretty. Pretty paper. All right. See what we got. Ooh. Okay. I'm just going to dump it out, ladies. That's what I do best is dump. All right. Come clean. Glow your soil. I think that's grow your soil. <laughs> glow your soul. All right. We call dibs. The Ipsy Insider's Clean Beauty must have, so I'm getting Lucky Chick Daydreams Eyeshadow Palette. I love a great nude smoky eye. I don't have a palette. Let's just see what I have. I have a Toy Factory Translucent Mineral Niacide Powder, Mini. I do have the brush. This is Wing Me Cosmetics All Over Beauty all over blending brush. This is a true do-it-all brush. I use it for every eyeshadow application, whether it's to blend out my crease or an all over wash of color and side hack. I love this brush with my setting powder for precise application. Okay, I didn't order this. I have, <laughs> they just really took me by surprise, Ipsy do. All right, well, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open the toy factory, translucent. Mineral niacide setting, niacide. Again, again, these things are so great for travel. I'm so not feng shui now. My room is feng shui. I'm gonna take this little brush here and put it in this translucent powder. Let's do under here. I don't think after I did my eye, my concealer, that I powdered. Oh God, I'm so dry right here. <gasps> oh my gosh. So that's a little translucent powder. That's cute. Then I have DWTN Paris Ro Eyeshadow Rose Gold. I already have eyeshadow on, but I'm gonna open this. I know they have the foil. I hope it doesn't shoot out. It changed altitude. See it? I'll go right over here. Can't really tell it because of my eyeshadow I have on. You know how I am. I'm just learning as I go. All right, then I have Kate Somerville Exfolicate Intense Exfoliating Treatment. And this one says AM or PM use one to two times a week. Apply to wet face. Massage for 30 seconds, leave on for up to two minutes, rinse and gently dry. Okay, so this will be added to my exfoliation trial. Right on. Then I got, oh, Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Renewal, anti-wrinkle cream. Well, you know, as dry as I am right now, a little white, creamy consistency, and I'm just gonna dab it. If you're careful, you don't rub off your concealer, especially since it's been on a while. This is very uh, luminous. -ish. I got that cute little brush, and this is Lower East Side Cream Lip Liner in Morning Coffee. What? A lip liner in coffee? Ooh. Oh, look at that, though. Look at that little head on it. I already got liner on, so let's just go. Ooh, that is a pretty cut. That doesn't look like morning coffee. <laughs> right, I can't wait to try that. So, that's my wild and crazy Ipsy bag this time. Not this, but 
translucent powder, this cute little fluff fluff McGruff brush, and the <laughs> DWTN Paris Eyeshadow Rose Gold. I'm going to put it on my eyes next time. And these two things, the Kate Summerwell, I will be doing those and I will bring those to you, to th this to you in my uh, exfoliation. I think I've already said that. And then this will be just in a cream that I will try all the time. So that was the Ipsy for January. Now I'm going to go over the Ipsy's for December, whether I like them or not. So the first thing I got was the Tarte Shape Tape Color Corrector. I thought it was concealer, but it was a color corrector in peach. And it was just a little too peachy. And it didn't, it just, it didn't contrast the way I wanted it. But anyway, so that's, that's a, a nay. Then the next thing I got was Aceology Hydro Glow and Energizing Green Tea Eye Mask. And they were nice. They are, are a little less, they're a little thicker than the ones I use now. Um, so I don't think I would purchase these. I might purchase a green tea eye patch that isn't so bulky. You know, I like them to once they get there and they, they'll just stay in place and not slide down your face. So the next is the goat milk cream, hand cream, and it's good. It's just very overpowering smell, but it does work really well as a hand cream. I've always liked the goat milk products. Then Shades by Sarah, Gel Eyeliner in Sweet Caramel. Now this one, oh, I, I really do like it. It is very pretty and it has like a little glow to it. So it, it works really lovely. Okay, next was the We Are Paradox Repair Game Changer Hair Mask. So is it a game changer for my hair? <laughs> Not really. I mean, it didn't do anything fantastic. It didn't hurt her, you know, but it wasn't anything that I would go out and purchase. I do have a video on my updated hair care. That's more of what I do now than I did on the first, but all of them apply. You need to take care of your hair, just like you need to take care of your skin and your inside. So having said all that, get ready. Get ready for some eyelashes. <laughs> I'm going to try the falsies, babies. Wish me luck. I'm going to make sure I don't have a lot of coffee before I do it so that I'm not like this and poke my eye out. See you soon.